Good morning, everybody. We touched on a concept Sunday that's one of my favorites, and, and it's a, a concept I believe heavily in, so I just thought I would take the opportunity to talk about it a little bit more. And it's the idea of kind of practical humility, and it's uh, we, we talked about it in terms of Matthew 24 and the idea of, uh, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven or the Son, but only the Father. And... And we kind of extrapolated on that concept that none of us know, not only end times thing, but, you know, none of us really know a lot of things. And um, and it's one of my favorite ideas, the idea that the more you know, the more you know, you don't know anything. And that the older we get, the wiser we get, the more mature we get, that theoretically that wouldn't come with an increased pride of, oh, I know more facts, I have more knowledge, but actually it would come with a humility of knowing just the vastness of of what it is that you don't know. And, um, and there are so many things that that same concept that we touched on applies where there are people smarter than we are, smarter than, that, that spend their entire lives studying almost any topic that come down on either side of the fence. So for us to approach those issues with pride and, and certainty and say, oh, well, this is the right answer and anyone who thinks otherwise is stupid, it just is not how these things go. So it's important for us to be able to find a comfort in that humility and in that not knowing that uncertainty and and not abandon the pursuit of, of knowledge altogether. It's not that everything becomes relative because somebody might disagree with me, but having a humility that comes with that knowledge is is really what separates knowledge and wisdom a lot of the time to to know the proper perspective for the knowledge that we have. And, and so I, I hope you continue to study. I hope you continue to read. But I, I hope that with that comes the added perspective that, uh, that we don't really know anything and that that's okay because we're given a guide, we're given a Holy Spirit that, that can walk along with us and, and that works with us um, through our weakness, not in spite of it. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful morning, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.